Greetings. I am your leader. Just joking. I just always wanted to say that. Anyways, um, welcome to my vlog. My name is Danny, and today is. Let's see, what's today? Uh, today is. Tuesday, November 22, 2016, 1242 12 p.m. Okay, so um, on my vlog, um, I talk about various things. Um, I think just talking about one thing would be pretty boring. So I try to talk about a bunch of things to just keep things interesting. So I had a few things in mind that I wanted to, um, I had a few things in mind that I wanted to talk about. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about is soccer. Yeah. Okay, so we had a, um, a few pickup soccer games since the last my last vlog. So we had a pickup soccer game on Saturday, and we had a pickup soccer game on Sunday. So I just wanted just to talk about that a little bit, just to give a little bit of an update. Um, the reason sometimes I do this stuff, a little bit of commentary, is because. You know, sometimes people think of these things, pick up games, as not that important or not too relevant to their goals and stuff like that. So, I want to try to, like, put more value into it and put more input into it so that for people who do show up and try, try their best and make the best out of it, I want them to feel as if that their presence there was had had some sort of purpose, and also to um, what we get with a lot of these groups is people who are new or they're sort of just on the fence about joining because they're nervous or they're a little intimidated or they're shy and stuff like that. Um, and so, and also too, the thing about a lot of these groups is that unfortunately, a lot of them are sort of pretty bad or kind of like people would consider them as a joke, you know, meaning the people who organize them are quite lame. And so even to the point where they may make a game, but they themselves won't even show up or nobody will show up and a game won't like won't even happen. So... I talk about them just to assure people that people showed up, people played, it was a good game, so that in the future people are more likely or willing to want to participate by, like I said, just showing up and playing and that type of thing that, you know, people are going to be there, I'm going to be there, and it's going to be... Um, not a waste of people's time. Okay, so um, on on Saturday, yeah, um, Saturday's game. Well, um, the game on Saturday was at what time was that at? Um, it was at three three p.m. and we played in the green court. So actually, the turnout was pretty good. Um, yeah, like, we had, like, um, like, we had about, um, three teams, like, about three teams of five, which was great, right? Because, um, sometimes it's good to have a few subs because it gives people, um, a time to rest and recondition their bodies, and it, it also, um, allows us to play the system of, like, 
the first goal or five minutes, which makes it more competitive and to people that are be a, going to be a little more serious and are going to try a little harder um, for their teammates and stuff. So it's just a m more of a motivating factor. Um, yeah, and I guess like if I remember, the thing about the green cord is that um, um, it's it's fine. Like I don't really mind it because we don't really have that many options um, at mine. So if we get it, we should always just make the best out of it um, because it's really hard to get anything there. And um, there was this thing where um, the green cord is sort of in the middle in the middle part, like in the middle part of the track. So it has to sort of be surrounded by those giant curtains. And used, it used to be that there was this little section where um, you could, that kind of, kind of sticked out, a curtain part that stuck out, but they used to have like, um, they used to have like a, um, Kind of like a long string sort of thing so either the 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 employee there or us could sort of wrap it around and, and do that i noticed that um on saturday there was no string there so i had to talk to one of the employees and i guess they have this sort of bungee thing that they wrap around and so um the employee did use the bungee thing to wrap it around and it was fine but i don't it's weird because when when he wrapped it around there was still like a bit of an opening of like where the curtain should be so like i guess it could have the ball could sort of go through those that opening too so i kind of wish that maybe like the bungee thing was a good idea but um if they could have put something else there to like close those openings too um yeah, but that game was good because um, we, um, yeah, it was pretty competitive, well-skilled, um, lots of running, lots of hustling, um, good sportsman, like a clean game, and uh, everyone got that exercise. I think everyone needs, all of us need that exercise so um, you can't go wrong there okay so on on Sunday we had a game on Sunday we had a game in um, PE 2000 also called Mun Gym at 4 p.m. so um, the turnout was okay um, we we had enough for a game and um, we didn't we didn't need subs, so which was great because like um, all of us got to play um, the whole time without having to like sit on the bench. And so um, there are some people who are paying like money for every time that they play, so they're not, especially those people are not paying money to just sit on the bench. So they want their money's worth, so they get to play like for the whole hour. So it was great. Um, yeah. So um, playing in that gym is great because you don't have to worry about the curtains. So you can just like kick to the walls and it'll bounce off the walls and stuff like that, which is not only convenient, but it's actually pretty fun. And um, yeah, so that game was, um, as usual, competitive, yet not too competitive, um, pretty friendly, and um, well-skilled, and um, lots of passing, you know, we didn't get people who would not pass or hog, and that, that's sort of annoying, and a clean, sportsmanlike game. Um, yeah, and I, I think that, again, by the end of it, I worked up a good sweat and got my exercise um, for that weekend. 
Um, I'll be posting um, our next game pretty soon, so just like keep checking. So it's kind of funny because um, <laughs> it's like if, if you if you ever go online and you you watch you follow like these um, sports teams like I, sp I follow a lot of like university sports teams like not only soccer but like volleyball basketball a bunch of them like track and field and stuff and it's, it's like they have this thing where especially on social media on like Facebook where they like to post videos of their the team's coaches and so they'll sort of interview the coach and get the coach to talk about like um the different players they're different players and what to what, how, how like what to expect from their players and how their players are, have been doing all season and what their potential is maybe sometimes i'll talk about some of the games and what happened during the games and stuff but it's kind of neat because like the, the coach will always come up with come on camera with you know those really fancy um um, sports teams um, jackets you know with the big logo and, and stuff like that and I, th I, I, I always found that look so cool and it looks so like pro professional and purposeful it's like oh yeah like he's wearing that this cool jacket and it's sort of representative of like if you were kind of wondering who, who is this man like oh yeah okay he's like the team He's like the team coach, so he has this, all of this importance and this status just by wearing like a jacket. So I kind of like, that's where I got the idea to like wear my, my, my soccer jacket today. So it's kind of like, if you're kind of wondering why I'm wearing like my, so my soccer jacket today, that's where I got the idea. So I kind of like the soccer jacket too because it's a, it's a Diodora, which is a, soccer company from from Italy and just for the record I've, I've had this jacket for a few years and it's like of excellent quality I'm, um, a lot of jackets sort of just fall apart after a bit of time but this jacket has like been perfect for all this time so I highly recommend the, the company and they, they sell a lot of other stuff besides jackets like I had the soccer track pants and I know people who wore their like soccer cleats and stuff so yeah it's definitely a good brand um, from Italy so um, yeah like I was also thinking of um, um, doing a bit of current events sort of so I have um, the muse which is I have the muse which is um, the university the university newspaper uh, the university being memorial, memorial university here the university being memorial university here and so I thought that I'd just go through a little bit and see what's going on. Okay. So we have this, like, um, veteran stuff for Remembrance Day. Um, canvas emergency, yeah. And we have um, more military stuff. Um, Some, some new thing is opening up in uh, Hatcher, Re Hatcher Residence. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny here because uh, the, uh, some mine student accuses the International Student Resource Center of using chemically altered henna. Boy, boy, boy. Wonder, wonder what that's about. Uh, some people like to complain about everything, I guess. Um, 
and then um, a little bit of a um, book review. So somebody hated the book 1984 George Orwell. So that book was, has been long considered a staple classic in, in, in the literary world for decades now. And someone just sort of killed it. Um, people, someone's still talking about Donald, Donald Trump. And Pedway rerouting, Pedway rerouting raises safety concerns. Questions about transportation of scientific materials across campus. Yeah, I heard that in order to do this um, uh, infrastructural transition that they have to transport um, scientific m materials even across the food court, um, which of course the food court is, you know, where food is cooked and where students pay and eat the stuff and it's, if it's going to be possibly contaminated with scientific materials that could be hazardous. That's, that, that, is, um, that is a little worrisome, I guess. I guess I read in two, an, another article, too, that also talked about um, the, during this time, the f some parts of the food court may sort of be blocked off, which is kind of crazy because the food court is really busy and packed, especially during certain times like, like lunch hour. And so I couldn't imagine them like blocking off some of that, like where would it would just be so congested. And also, I don't know, understand where students would actually eat. And this, this other little section here, it's got um, hol holiday, hol holiday help reaching out within the community during the holidays. Holiday help, reaching out within the community during the holidays. So, um, I just wanted to maybe talk about that a little bit and say that, um, so a lot of my followers, I think, are like not from here. Not only not, not from St. John's area, not from Newfoundland, not from Canada or from very far um, away places like far away countries that are very very far from here so I think for them it's it's got to be kind of hard to get used to the whole like Christmas holiday thing especially because if they're not able to like go home for the Christmas holidays and so if they stay here and everyone's gone home, they can feel pretty alone and pretty isolated and, and pretty lonely. So I, I know that that, that that can be a hard time. Um, so that's why someone wrote that then because there are th things that you can do to like try to stay connected, get involved, like volunteering um, or, or whatever. Um, like I know that there is a um, place that gives out free like um, Christmas dinners, like on right on Christmas Day, right? And it's all free. Um, so that's something maybe that um, should actually like look into. Or like I said, maybe there's like different places that you can volunteer or 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 stuff like that. But um, yeah, so. Try to try to look in the, into that, but um, I also wanted to just I had this thing that I just wanted to get off my mind because like sometimes when I'm just like browsing through my social media and like people post stuff of their own lives, like they take pictures of stuff that happens in, in their life, and it's it's funny because like. Um, this guy posted like pictures of his house like on November 12th on November 12th and his whole house was completely decorated with like Christmas um, decorations like the whole tree all the lights all over his, in, inside his house and stuff like that and 
and that was only November 12th and which is crazy early for that in my opinion and the, the reason that he probably picked November 12th was because November 11th is Remembrance Day so he didn't really want to be disrespectful he didn't really want to be disrespectful to the the Veterans Day people so he waited until one day after which is November 12th had the, if there wasn't a Remembrance Day he would have probably set the, set him up earlier like probably maybe in October which is like really crazy so and I, and I see so many of those like like people like putting all these like Christmas decorations, these huge trees that they're all lit up like in like no in in like in like November and stuff. Like I, I just think that's <laughs> that's just a little too early. But um, um, yeah, the, the the Christmas thing it's sort of a very very, very complicated sort of thing. But um, yeah, these things I guess just honestly go through my mind when, when I see these things. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm just trying to think if I have, um, anything else that I need to talk about. Um, oh yeah, and like I said, um, I'm just looking, I'm just looking at my camera and I'm just kind of impressed about how nice my my, my my Star Wars poster looks. Um, yeah, I've always been such a Star Wars fan, so having this poster is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to wrap this up and say that... Um, um, <sighs> yeah. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at this um, vlog stuff, but the thing is that um, I'm definitely no expert, but the only way that you can get better at like vlog stuff is by practice practice makes perfect so that's the, which is kind of what i'm doing right now right so i know you people have to be a little patient with me but the more i do of these the better um i'll get at them and i can guarantee that these will get better and better because i'm just gonna get better at my craft and i'm gonna come up with better ideas and stuff so um, i hope you guys like them and like I said, um, um, just need to get this focus here. Yeah, just like my, just like how I said that um, I'm very loyal to my Star Wars with the poster. Um, we'll just end this video by saying, um, as Darth Vader, as, as Darth Vader would say. 